It's a smart move. They don't want to be caught in the dragnet. Maybe the connection is that there is no... Jensen, talk. I don't know what to say what this reminds me of. I have By God, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him... Tell him it's just... It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up in telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown, but if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... TF-29 likes its privacy. Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess? We dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof. No Christmas party. You got an ammo in this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus' style to leave crumbs this big. But, whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... My god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that! I get nervous enough as it is. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. Alright, you have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Halavni. Just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You kidding? See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment. Access the computer they used and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. They've been everywhere for the past week. Thanks. Keep digging. Be careful out there. I'd rather not say what this reminds me of. Maybe the connection is that there is no connection. What I hear, it's no design to attack you on the Licensed 
documentation. Individuals who fail to comply will be arrested and relocated to designated AUG only locations. Safety is the primary concern, especially in the wake of the AUG incident, where millions of people lost their lives due to malfunctioning augmentation. Opponents of the legislation have been protesting all over the world, and many of the protests have turned violent. This escalation in the violence and rhetoric has only widened the dialogue on both sides of the issue. We will be watching the UN closely for any break in the story. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you. I don't even know where to start with theorizing percentages. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Composition could tell us a lot, but it's well the trigger that really does the talking. Half the Cybercrimes Division is combing the web for any hint of those mystery guys from Dubai. That's not really so. some kind of adrenaline you know what you He plays it too close to the edge. He made it out of Dubai, didn't he? Agent Jensen! Well, you know what? I think you're right. Around the clock, around the world. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the Gomask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Singh's cover with the Jin is still intact. I'm hoping once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, oh, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen. And I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose caller it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen, I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't going to change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not going to make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you. Fine. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25, and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. 
Oh, yeah. It was very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, after 12 years hunting terrorist shitbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So I quit. So what brought you back to the life? I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is, we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then, you know what I know. That everything? Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. I'm in the middle of something, Agent. I guess the Transit Authority isn't in as much I think as Director as Miller's making a mistake, putting all our resources into finding these Dubai newcomers. Here's Jensen, yes? This is so weird. Really hate this. Agent Jensen. Around the clock, around the world. Always watching. This is so weird. Because you are always watching. Look, I'm going as fast as I can. Turning now to Prague, a city still reeling in the wake of a devastating terror attack. Dozens were killed and These guys might as well be ghosts. When bombs exploded inside I hate this. the I really hate station. This. I do not need to remind you folks. Frog in six months. All you of think, think one of them would pop up on some list of some. The Augmented Rights Coalition took up residence in the neighboring Ubalet complex. Dr. Rugger claims his organization is peaceful and merely seeks I guess the transit the authority is in the all the operators who are there. Nothing. It is Jensen. Agent Singh. Wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies, at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. That sting went to hell faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the red-eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. We're embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're thinking the Jin can get a bead on our gate crashers faster than TF-29? Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? Yeah, once. But it's a long story. Did we get anything out of the cleanup operation? Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID-scrubbed. 
No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be ex-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jumped from that ship. At least we recovered the weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. Enough to build another couple of you. That... that is a joke. Right. It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally, in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but for no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so hard? Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal. And one of thousands of workers outfitted for construction. Then, that day. I know. No, Agent Jensen, you could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful god. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you only feel like an imposter out here. In the real world. Yeah, I understand the feeling. It is Jensen, yes? I'm scheduled to return from the dead at 030 Omani time. You think one of them would pop up on some list somewhere? I cannot speak for you, folks. I hate these. I really hate these. This is so weird. reporting to you live from Exclusivity. These are the greatest concerns of the digital age. I've run and DNA checks through all the alphabet agencies. Nothing. Have made addressing those concerns priority one. Information archived within the walls of Palisade Property Bank is beyond the legal jurisdiction of any government. Assured anonymity. This is so Palisade weird. Bank Corporation is now and forever will be the best secure corporate archiving company in the world. Look, I'm going as fast as I can. Around the clock, around You think the one of them would pop up on some list somewhere? Always watching. Agent Jensen! You are always watching. Turning now to Prague, a city still breathing. These guys might as well be ghosts. Look, I'm going as fast as I can. offices are always too close. Step up and do it. You think one of them would pop up and quit? I'll run it through a few filters. I'll ask you if I can get it into an
That's all the data I have. They're right posturing, now. as opposed to conducting. Hey, Agent Jensen. Nice work in Dubai. But still, you I know what I want to know is who those odd enough guys in the gold masks were. I'll be compiling all the case files, and as soon as I know anything, it'll be up on the board. Hey, it's a good thing you got that signal booster offline. Agent Singh spent a long time getting in with the gin. It'd be a shame to have it blow his cover. Thanks. Hey, it's a good thing you got that signal booster offline. Agent Singh spent a long time getting in with the gin. It'd be a shame to have it blow his cover. Ah, oh, oh, what to say about the juggernaut collective that isn't speculation. A bunch of their members were running operations out of Montreal in 27, resurfacing for a while in 28. You heard of the Rifleman Bank Station? Bell Tower? Anyway, the collective is a group of hacker activists, or hacktivists. God, I hate that word. Dedicated to the cause of freedom. At least that's what they say, or what their actions appear to say. They fight corruption by exposing hypocrisy and protecting the unprotected. No one knows the real power structure inside of the collective, but there is one name that echoes over the dark net, and that name that echoes even louder than Hex, and you can talk to Peter Chang if you don't believe me, that name is Janus. And some say Janus runs everything, while others think there is no Janus. What I hear, keep the explosives were designed to get maximum The new spread. Sons of Freedom, or NSF, is a small group of militant constitutionalists and secessionists operating in the continental United States, particularly in the Pacific Northwest. The group was formed as a reaction to the American government's increasingly authoritarian regime. NSF is committed to fighting the influence and control of a group of unknown people they believe to be the Illuminati with strategic guerrilla warfare strikes. They are suspected of having ties with Janus and the Juggernaut Collective. I'll mail it. No, it's the right call. Really Samistat is an underground news outlet that likes to think of itself as the Maybe real news. They are anti-establishment and anti-almost everything else, including business addresses, so we like to keep our eyes and ears open for any mention of them. They're posturing, as opposed to conducting an actual investigation. Janus. I mean, what can you say about him? Or her. Uh, nobody really knows who or what Thanks. Janus is. Keep digging. But what many believe is that Janus is running Negative. the most Apparently dangerous hacking group in I'd the world, attacking it. corrupt politicians and businesses on a global scale. The corporate world is terrified of Janus. Maybe the connection is that there is There's no much here There's a rumor that the Church of the Machine God is building a machine that will help bring forth the singularity. Sure, I guess that's a possibility. I'm just not sure what they would plug that machine into. Maybe whoever's in charge doesn't want anyone to feel safe. The Church of the Machine God has a leader, but all we know about her at this point is that she's a woman and they call her mother. That's creepy, right? I think that's really creepy. I just It'd wish someone would nut up and take the blame and do it. Here we go, the Church of the Machine God, and to some, the Church of the Machine, without the God. And then again, to others, the Singularity Church of the Machine God. This group has so many names and subgroups, uh, it's hard to keep track. And believe it or not, they've been around in one form or another since the early 1970s. There are a lot of contradictory reports on who they are and what they want, but in general, they all want the same thing. They want to merge their consciousnesses and become one with the Machine God through a ritual they call Ascension. You've heard of these guys, ARC, or the Augmented Rights Coalition. They're a human rights group who, on the surface at least, is trying to provide equal rights for augmented people. It was started by Dr. Talos Rucker, soon after the AUG incident when Rucker started to speak out against the anti-AUG legislation that was being passed by several local governments. If you ask me, it's not working. They seem to be getting worse. ARC preaches non-violence, but a string of terror attacks has put them on the terror watch list. So I'll let you be the judge. Right now, I think Dr. Talos Rucker, yeah. former yeah. Lynn Clinic doctor and current leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Rucker has chosen to leave his native Germany and to live in the Utilek complex near Prague as a protest to draw attention to the upcoming Human Restoration Act vote. Rucker is a pacifist and believes that what is happening in Prague is what will happen all over the world if the Restoration Act becomes law. You think one of them would pop up on some list somewhere? Maybe whoever's in charge doesn't want anyone to feel safe. You know as much as I do about these guys. They're augmented, well-trained, and very dangerous. I'll mail it. And they the seem to be massing be weapons and augs time. for some sort of attack. We just, we don't know what yet. Who am I? I'm the guy doing his fucking job. Who the fuck are you? These guys might as well be Our arms dealer Shepard, aka John Trent, is a former Special Forces commander and ex-Bell Tower operative. And as is typical for those ex-Bell Tower employees, he's been selling off old Bell Tower tech and weapons. But we don't need to worry about him anymore. He was killed by those gold mask guys in Dubai. State police are playing ah, stingy Wasim Alam, the head of the Jinn, former limb clinic doctor and surgeon before he turned to more profitable enterprises. He brings the same cold and calculated approach he brought to saving lives to running his business with his brother, Salar. 
Ah, Agent Singh, great poker player. I still owe him 100 credits. So I hope his incursion with the Jin lasts another few months. You know, maybe he'll forget I owe you money. Deep down, we all want to be Nut up and take the blame. It'd be easier if someone would just step up This guy is the face of the Jin and a charismatic force of nature. They call him the Bull of the North and the Heart of the Jin. Real name Salar, works in conjunction with his uh, cold and calculating brother, Wasi, who saved his life during the Aug incident. He is proudly augmented and parades his Augs around wherever and whenever he likes. The hatred of Augs from groups around the world has only emboldened him and his organization. Who am I? I would have thought you had your fill of these guys. Who are you? The Jin, a group of smugglers led by twin brothers Salar and Wazim Alam. Their exact base of operations is unknown, but it's most likely in Muscat, Oman. The brothers Alam have been in operation since 2020, and have greatly expanded their operations since then, recruiting mercenaries, ex-military, nationalistic agitators, and other colorful criminal agitators from Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and the surrounding region. They deal in drugs, weapons, medical implants, augs, and they occasionally throw in some human trafficking. If there's something here, our first is an anti well group goes. dedicated to keeping humans human, all pure, no augmentations. In their obsessive pursuit of this goal, they have taken extreme measures and are suspected of being responsible for multiple acts Negative. of breaking and entering, vandalism and theft. Thanks. On occasion, they've even become violent, I'm being sorry, implicated in several assaults and murders as they push for their goal of human purity. They've been quiet since the incident. It'd be easier if someone would oh, here we go. The Diwali crime family. As you may already know, they're one of the largest crime syndicates in Eastern Europe, but they do business almost everywhere, from Northern Europe all the way to the Middle East. After their humble beginnings in a coastal town in Georgia, the Diwali quickly moved from gambling to more lucrative criminal enterprises, until they found their specialty. What I need you to do is listen Which includes human trafficking, too. The Diwali can get any of to anywhere. It's as if the borders just don't exist to them. But their rapid expansion came at the cost of their Georgian purity, when they started incorporating an ever-increasing number of Russians into the group. If you see, I think a major power struggle is coming within the Diwali. One of the old versus the new. The past versus the future. I don't even know where to start with theorizing percentages. Ah, the elusive Radich Nikoladze. This guy's a piece of work. Driven and ruthless. When he came up, he was the youngest boss in the Diwali crime family. Deep down, they all the man spends more money on suits than most people spend on houses. Right but don't let the looks and the haute couture fool you. He's the boss, he's in control, and he's squashed more than a few people who've tried to take him down along the way. If there's something here, I'll find it. Otar Bacavelli. This guy's a classic. They don't make many like him anymore. Sharp mind, a real businessman. One of those gangsters who thinks that crime is a necessary evil, no? If it's gonna happen, he's there to make sure people have respect and make good money. Good business. Thanks. Oh, Keep digging. Who am I? Otar's right hand man is this guy, Van. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean. But he's strong and loyal. Something Otar values greatly. For crying out loud. Is it, ah, is it the not Diwali called this guy too? Constantine. Thanks. Like that's supposed to be intimidating. Right? Right? State police are playing. We don't have a last name for Constantine, but until his death in the Rizika bombing, he was a high placed member of the Diwali crime family, answering to Otar Batkaveli. We suspect he has lots of connections in the upper echelons of the organization, all the way up to Radic Nikoladze and beyond. Between you and me, I suspect that he's a con, a spy that watches the Diwali lieutenant closely to make sure he doesn't make a move on the boss. You'd think one of them would pop up on some list. The classic Diwali structure has two spies, or Pachans, working for the lieutenant who report directly to the boss to make sure he stays the boss. Those guys are pretty violent. Where to start with theorizing percentages? These guys might as well be ghosts. There isn't much here to come. No. Maybe whoever we know state police aren't about profiling. Dr. Rugger Thanks. Keep digging. Negative. They're saying it was faulty. But with the United Nations sending No. 